Welcome! My name is Jürgen Rinelli and I'm a senior software consultant. In my today's tutorial, I'm going to show you some troubleshooting tips. Have fun! All right, today is everything about troubleshooting. I have some um, yeah, basic tips. I would like to provide some of the major um, questions I receive. So let's start. Let's start where? Oh, yeah, agent. We start with the agent. Um, when we install an agent, we have the possibility to do so through here, um, install agent um, at computers um, with a push installation. When I don't find my system in here, it might be because our last sync time is wrong <laughs> our last sync the new computer is uh, integrated in the active directory but um, the sync yet has not been established so click on sync now you will find your system that's the one thing the next would be if you cannot publish um, cannot install it um, due to the push installation then there might be a port issue ports are a major issue anyways so where to find all those informations it's within the um, manageengine.com products desktop central uh, lan architecture yeah or in general you will find here the system requirements yeah um, how many ram and um, processors and whatever you would need and the system software requirements, operating systems, browsers, databases, and such. Yeah, when it comes to the communication, we have the LAN and the VAN ports. Here, let's scroll further down. We will find the server ports, ports used by Endpoint Central. All the server ports, Active Directory ports, tools, and remote control, distribution server, MDM, and OS deployment. And here in the notes, you will find those push ports 135, 139, and 445. That's needed if you want to establish a agent push installation. So check those ports out. All right, you checked every port, but still the agent remains either red or cannot be um, installed at all. What to do then? Easy thing, there's a troubleshooting tool. So if in any case you're not able to install an agent through um, the, the, the push installation, or the agent cannot have a, a establish a communication, so then install it either manually the agent, yeah, through the agent install option, other methods, or here, cost computers download agent. Install it manually. And then you will find that troubleshooting tool. I'll switch to another um, client I built up for that. So when you installed an agent, you have here the agent tray icon. And there is a troubleshooting tool. If this icon is not shown, that will happen um, when first time install the system, prior a reboot mostly, um, then you will find this troubleshooting tool here under Program Files um, 86, Manage Engine, UEMS Agent, and within the bin folder, you will have here Agent Troubleshooting Tool. As well, there is that Agent Tray icon exit. Um, let's have a look here. The DC agent tray icon. Um, right click, open as um, run as a, a administrator, and the tray icon will show up. Fine. The troubleshooting. That's what we wanted to start. We can either here start it here or through this tray icon. Now it is checking already. Start troubleshooting. If it is um, not shown um, um, in the beginning, then there is a 
um, scan button. All right. Here's everything. Yeah, fine, except of the Active Directory. Um, we have that troubleshoot summary either here or here. We have all the details of the system, of the endpoint central server, ports, and uh, such distribution server, notification server, uh, RDS gateway, yeah, and the Active Directory. Um, all right, that's an error. Of course, I don't have an Active Directory integrated in this test environment. I built that up right today. Okay, so um, there is about the ports, about the communication issues. And if you need logs, you will find them here. System information, agent, about the agent installation, there are the logs. You can have a search in here or um, scroll through it. And in case of configurations, you pushed configurations and there are issues, you will find those here too. Or about the patch management, inventory, yeah, application control, device control, all the logs are summarized here. Um, if you want to see the logs from the folder, you can find them here too. UMS agent within the Explorer, manage engine, UMS agent, there is the logs directory, the logs folder. And in any case, if there is a troubleshooting with the vendor, with Manage Engine, and they ask you for the logs, the client logs, then it is this folder to be zipped and uploaded to the vendor. Fine, that's about the agent. Let's switch back again to the console. What else do we have? Yeah, we have remote offices. And within remote offices, we can install an, an, uh, an a distribution server. A distribution server um, is a repository for software, for patches, and even for OS deployment. This can have some um, communication error, uh, issues too. So yeah, here it is green, it is online, everything fine with, with, within my environment, and the remarks are fine too about the re uh, replication cycle finished successfully. If you want to troubleshoot some issues with the distribution server, then let's go and have a look on that system. That's Dival01, uh, <laughs> let's go here and start the remote control. That's the troubleshooting tips. Connect. Control or delete. Let's log in. All right, so now um, within the tray icon, you will find the, the um, agent here with the troubleshooting, but we want to troubleshoot the distribution server. There is good news. We have within the C drive, program files, manage engine, distribution server, bin, the same tool for troubleshooting. There's the same tool, ES troubleshooting tool. Just double click it, open it, and run the troubleshooting. It's the same, practically the same tool as um, within the agent. And um, here, distribution server troubleshooting, uh, everything is scanned. And we can view the troubleshooting summary, proxy details, endpoint central server, distribution server, notification server, and all that. And even the logs are here about the distribution server, on-demand services, replication problems maybe, or others, all the logs needed. All those logs, of course, can be found 
within the UMS distribution server folder, there's the logs. Uh, and if there is, again, a troubleshooting needed and the vendor asks for that logs, just zip this folder. Great, let's go out. There are more things we need to take care, especially about the patches. When we patch something, we might face some errors. Let's go into the deployment. We have either the manual um, deployment with um, failures or within the automatic patch deployment, we have uh, failures. Let's have a look here. Let's go on that error. Okay, patching failed. Nice. This remark is, yeah, really, really good. It helps us a lot. <laughs> it is better when we click here, then we will find about the installation more informations remarks fatal error during installation and there is a kb where manage engine is helping us with the cause and the resolution it depends on and differs accordingly to the um, errors what else sometimes we might have an issue with software patches attention required upload pending yeah by vm the control console we need to manually upload this patch because manage engine does not have um, the direct a direct access location for the patch so we click on here upload we will find here the how to url and manage engine as well gives us a resolution and where to go where to download patches from here is always even linked with uh, for us and uh, what kind of patch we need and what else to do we we upload it here either through the upload button or we just drag and drop that file sometimes there is a renaming needed but everything will be described in that how-to. Another point to find issues, solutions, is getting settings, cleanup settings, upload patches. There we have more, the dependency patches, for instance. Even there, there is the need for upload. Yeah, different languages, this might be a mistake. Yeah, the language installed is not matching. And yeah, again here, go on upload, how to URL, even a video provided. Yeah. And here in this case, um, we need to check Enterprise Edition Windows or Professional Version, what is needed. Everything is found within that documentation. That's the same thing about the software deployment, view configurations. Even here, we might have some yeah, basis software we installed, yeah, uh, execution failure. What's wrong? Yeah, success three, failed one, not applicable, zero. What's the failed thing? Okay, let's go on it. 7-zip, install completely. Yeah, but it is status is failed. It is because of retry status, two out of two. It ran out. Installation failed, fatal error during installation. All right, in this case, there is no KB linked. So in that case, we will need the logs I shown previously. Okay, so um, why does this happen about the upload? Now, just to give a few words about that upload patches, um, it is even for Java. Yeah, you need a special login to go on the Oracle page and download the patches. Um, in some cases, Manage Engine does not get the direct download location. Um, mostly when it is a um, solution where you need to register, when you need ha to have an, uh, a, a login, Manage Engine provides the possibility for automatic patch deployment by providing you a solution to upload that files. It is better that way instead of having no possibility to patch even those applications.
So another way to troubleshoot would be pushing that blue button. Chat with us, there's a chat, and there is a race a ticket or an online guide. Within the online guide, um, we have working with Endpoint Central, device onboarding, etc. When it comes to the troubleshooting for on-prem server, the same log directory we saw at the distribution server and uh, within the agent, the same log folder is available within the root directory of the Endpoint Central installation. In case Manage Engine asks you for that folder, please zip the whole folder and um, upload it then. So that's been some um, basic troubleshooting tips of mine. Have fun with um, testing and trying. That's it for today. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching and have fun testing and trying everything out. See you soon.